Remember this day, boys. This is a day our country went to the dogs. A heady mix of rugby and African politics might seem a little daunting to some, but then this is Clint Eastwood, an actor-director who's built a career taking things in his stride. You never know when you uh, approach a story like this, or any story for that matter, that whether they're going to uh, uh, appeal to anybody. But if it appeals to you, you just tell it on that basis and do the best job you can with it. You know, when you're younger, you can do a film that you, uh, and you may do similar films and similar genres and se films that relate to one another. But as you get along in your career, like I, uh, you had a career as long as I have, you, you're trying to strike out and do subjects that you haven't really uh, explored before. Our enemy is no longer the Africana. They are our fellow South Africans, our partners in a democracy. And they treasure Springbok rugby. Morgan Freeman is uncanny as a newly elected Nelson Mandela, uniting a divided nation behind the Springboks ahead of the 1995 World Cup. He is a... Uh, a very charismatic uh, person. Um, he has uh, he has that same stature. He's about the same height, even. Uh, uh, that the, he and, and he's a terrific actor and could play that part as well as anybody. Maybe better than uh, than most because he suited uh, uh, this particular uh, man as far as duplicating him. <laughs> I was a little concerned when I went into the film. I thought, how are you going to make this look like real rugby to a European audience who know the game? And yet, you know, the game scenes were fantastic. Action! You just learn as much as you can about the game, and you have good people around you working with you, and, uh, and good rugby players so they could actually play the game. We didn't have to do simulate uh, being hit, they get hit. <laughs> it was rough. I mean, we had to replace people and take people in and out because of uh, injuries. Do you hear? Listen to your country. After 55 years in the business, Eastwood is an acknowledged master of his craft. Yeah, the guys just came in and there was like, like a total arm fold. Are you happy with it? Yes, sir. Yeah. The man with no name, it seems, is now the name in Hollywood. How do the studio directors take that when you show up and say, well, actually, I'd like to make a film now about uh, child abuse. Oh, I'd like to make a film about a lady whose son went missing and the police didn't care. Now I'd like to make a film about an African president. And they, what, they just buy it. They just say, yeah, sure, whatever you want to do. Well, it isn't quite as easy as that. <laughs> it looks easy <laughs> that, from the that, outside. But uh, sometimes they buy it, sometimes they don't. Uh, I've had a few that I had to, uh, to do a little selling job on them. Believe it or not, Eastwood will be 80 this year. He says his acting days at least are over. However, plenty before have learned that second-guessing Clint was never a good idea. Thank you. Thanks very much. Andrew Wilson, Sky News.